What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my 1997 two-door Tahoe Z71. I bought this truck in 2004 when it was about seven years old and I've driven it pretty much every day since then. I've been pretty good about keeping up with the maintenance, but there are a few things that need, uh, some issues that need attending to. So in this series, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you guys step-by-step step addressing all the little problems with it and then we're gonna fix it together, show you some tips and tricks associated with that. So let's get started. All right guys, so before we try to fix this uh, wet carpet issue, I'll just kind of explain how the system works. Underneath this cowl on the driver's side, there's basically a big hole. Uh, and so as the car is going down the road, the air is gonna flow inside that hole. It's gonna travel across through this duct right here. And there's another hole on this side. Um, and that goes to, it's a direct route to the air box, which is for the cabin climate control, it goes to the blower, goes to the air conditioner, stuff like that. So to keep the water from just pouring directly into your carpet, the level for that air box is about an inch and a half higher than the floor. Problem is there's a drain right here. And when that drain fills up, it's gonna pour right through the duct into the carpet. So one of the first thing we can do to see if we can solve that problem is to uh, go ahead and clean out that little gutter. To do that, what we need to do is we need to get behind this engine coolant bottle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two 13 millimeter bolts. There's a tab that just holds this, uh, holds this down. All you have to do is put your hand underneath this and just lift straight up. Oh, snap, looks like I lost the, uh, lost the connector on the bottom here. I did this the other day and uh, I think it broke off. I have to replace that. So just go ahead and set this aside. All right, so now you can see the duct right here. This is what channels water away from inside the firewall onto, uh, onto the ground. You can see it's held on here on the top with a, uh, with a seven millimeter screw. And there's gonna be another seven millimeter screw here on the bottom. Now, like I said, I did do this last week and unfortunately I lost the screw at the bottom, but you really only need one to hold it on. Okay, so once you remove those two screws, you can kind of remove this uh, this duct right here. You kind of see what I'm talking about. Once you remove this, you can see, oh, it's kind of stuck in there. Once you pull this out, you can see that there's this hole right here. If you stick your finger in here, you can feel it goes straight upward into the, inside the, uh, behind the firewall. So that's gonna be the path that water is gonna go once it gets, uh, when the water fills up inside here behind the firewall, it's gonna go out this thing right here. And then this duct right here is what's gonna send it down, uh, down to the ground. If you turn around here, you have a flapper valve. Now, when I took this off last week to try to fix my issue, it was totally full. This entire area right here was full of dirt, just from the car being sitting underneath the tree for so many years uh, back before we had a garage. I took this thing, I took it in the sink, just kind of use the pressure on the uh, water just to kind of flush it all out. This right here, you can um, pour water from the top or you can use compressed air. Basically do whatever you can, maybe get a vacuum in there if you can, uh, get that all cleaned out. Once you're finished with that, Installation is just the reverse of, uh, of taking it apart. So go ahead and clean this, stick around back here, just put it all back together. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments. Until next time, enjoy that two-door life.